Hello everyone, to, welcome to our YouTube channel Making Investments Simple and today I would be talking about um, income, income tax filing returns. So um, some of you uh, who have actually missed the deadline of um, July 31st, um, not last year, uh, the one year before 2016-2017, um, uh, here is what you can actually do and this article talks about more about it so I will be giving you more inputs on this. So. So, uh, individuals who are uh, who are having who are having income exceeding the basic tax exemption limit are required to file their tax returns under the Income Tax Act. So, so the due date uh, to file returns are uh, July 31st every year. However, um, can be also be filed above the due date as belated tax return. However, you would have to pay some penalty and some extra fees too. So, um, as per the Finance Act. Um, the belated uh, returns can be filed within one year from the end of relevant assessment year or the complete completion of the assessment year. So you can still file returns for 2016-2017 um, uh, assessment year 2017-2018. So the due date would be the March 31st, 2018, um, which is gone by now. But what you should do is if you have still have not filed your returns, and um, you should know what what is applicable right now so um, if uh, the following implications uh, will be um, will be um, followed if you have not filed the itr um, on time so interest of one percent on the balance tax payable for each month of delay in filing a tax return so from 2017 2018 onwards in case return is not filed within the due date a fee of 5000 rupees is applicable and if it is delayed beyond december 31 of the relevant assessment year then it is 10000 rupees however this will be restricted to 1000 in case of um, individuals with income up to 5 lakh rupees now ssc will lose the ability to carry forward any eligible losses that also is a very important point he will also uh, lose out on claiming a refund of any excess paid taxes paid and consequential interest uh, of the current financial year so in case of failure to file a tax return from 2016-17 onwards, a penalty of 50% of tax payable is also applicable. There may be other penalties under the Black Money Act for an individual who is ordinary resident and uh, has foreign income or asset. In case of serious willful attempt to evade taxes, um, imprisonment may also be considered by tax authorities which may extend up to 7 years. So please keep that in mind. Apart from the above, uh, tax returns may also be required as documentary evidence for any application application for visas or for loans, home loans, etc. So while one should um, always try to file a tax return within the due days, the applicable taxes should, have, should definitely be deposited into the government treasury along with applicable interest if the return has not been filed for any reason. So these are my thoughts. So hope. Um, you have some idea on uh, the taxes which you uh, have to pay if you don't pay the taxes uh, the income tax returns on time uh, if you have any questions regarding this please do comment um, on on the section below and uh, i'll be happy to answer them thank you and i will see you again on my next video